Is that good? So good. I requested it on the booking form that we get a table seat with like a window view, so we'll see. Oh, that'll be cool. Maybe. It also says light refreshments available, which means we can get bad trains. Let's go, Hermie. jump off our stuff. A place with Sally Lunds were created as well. So we're gonna go get one of those. What is up guys? It's the next morning. We've got our nice little flat whites from this cute little town we're in. What is it called? Woodcombe or Woodcombe or something. Based out of Bath UK. Really nice little town. We actually got a ton of stuff pushed yesterday. Funnily enough, have barely any Wi-Fi. I've been tethering all day. We pushed yesterday the V2 dashboard. So the actual sub internal dashboard for all creators is out now. We also pushed, which is really interesting, the V2 pricing model. So this is where we're actually scrapping platform transaction fees completely. The industry standard is obviously like four, five, six, seven percent, maybe even 10 or 12% in some cases like Discord and Patreon. We're scrapping that. So we're going to 0%, which is like super creator friendly. And essentially anything up to 15 customer subscriptions on your sub is completely free. So you could have like 15 people paying you a thousand bucks a month to get access to your WhatsApp group or whatever that is. You're paying no fees. You're not even paying like a subscription fee on, on sub at all. But anything after that, it starts at 49 US a month. And then if you're at like scale with like hundreds and hundreds of users, it's like 129 bucks a month. We haven't figured out the later pricing, but that is all live. We've already got a few people who have jumped on, who are already on those pro plans, growth plans. Guys, we've just made it so easy to launch online and keep all of your revenue. Pushed that into production yesterday, had to do a few kind of like fixes just to make a few things work. All the migrations were successful. All the merging was successful. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a big investor update for all our existing investors and also some new ones that are potentially interested in coming on board in the next kind of like month or so. We're also gonna get some new LinkedIn posts out, some new uh, social posts out on all our platforms. We'll also want to, oh actually yeah, that's a critical thing we should probably start working on, is the users tab, which is actually where you're gonna be able to manage all of your user subscriptions and such. If they need to delegate access to a new email address or get sent a new invite, or you need to be able to actually like check if they've got, even got access to your platform. That's also where we're gonna be adding our integrations with like Zapier and all that in the future. There's a lot of really cool things that we need to add, but today I'm gonna get started on that users tab. We're gonna do all those updates. I think we're looking pretty good. We're working on holiday. Fresh perspective, you know? Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog so far. Otherwise, we're gonna get to it. <laughs> Posture. The Indie Hacker Posture. How's users tab? It's looking good, nice and responsive. Gonna be able to manage everything. The biggest thing I'm trying to do right now is just make the dates look better than date strings. So we're doing some conditional rendering. So pretty interesting data then for yeah. creators. Real good data, because you can see who your most valuable are. Like, look, one of these guys, 35 bucks, two of these guys. 35 bucks so far, 35, 35. Yeah, this would be really interesting for a creator to see. And then also what we want to do is expose who their like Discord ID is, the Slack user ID, the WhatsApp ID, like their phone number and everything as well. And then if that matches alongside like an existing WhatsApp, that'll be really interesting to see too. Just so you can like manage everything from one place. That'd be really cool. Yeah, also another thing we're coming up against, some people have different emails attached to their Apple Pay card. So when people Apple Pay in, it's really convenient, but then they don't get an email. 
Because mm. it's like a wrong email or something. So they're emailing the creator and being like, hey, I didn't get an email. And then it's like, hey, you got to figure out they've got a different email. So if the creator's got a way that they can like update that here so that I don't have to be the one doing it, that's really cool too. But yeah, this is coming along. It's looking good. Nice. Especially on the V2 dashboard. V2 dashboard looks good. I think it's time for some lunch. Yep. Let's go have a break. Are you coming? Are you coming out for lunch? I had and spend the whole morning fixing a dashboard that's like not even that beneficial for customers and you're like, cool, I just wasted the whole morning. Yeah. That's the life. It's the, I'll quickly get this done before I start the important stuff. It takes you maybe four hours. Yeah. And then in all my <laughs> vlogs, I'm like, yeah, so we're about to push this dashboard. And then like four vlogs later, the dashboard's not pushed because there's thing after thing after thing after thing. And also like investor meetings and new product and uh, anyway. And then like lunch, reading a book, watching a, yeah. I mean, you watch YouTube. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's go. Finally uh, delved into the world of bags. I've never been a bag guy. I've always just held my phone, but recently I've just been, you know, feeling the enormous weight of uh, fame and fortune on my phone that's just so heavy for me to carry. So now I've got one of these. The Lululemon pick me up. It's literally got my phone only in it currently. Oh, and the keys. <laughs> but I don't have to carry it now. Jam donuts, for four jam donuts, and they're fresh. 